That's good morning, Leah. Good morning, Greg and Tracy. I'm at the Elks Lodge in Beaumont. It's right off of Highway 90. And this weekend, this place is going to be filled with people for the Jefferson County Go Texan Barbecue Cookoff. A lot of the pit masters have rolled in, kind of finding their spot for their pits, getting all ready to go. And I'm with one of them today, Paul Goodwin. He'll be competing. Now, you're kind of getting your space set up here. Um, I see your pit here. Kind of describe the logistics of this this bad boy. Well, what, what you see here, <clears throat> excuse me, is the main part of the pit where the actual meat is placed. On the end down here is a firebox where I actually build my fire to flow through the pit to cook the meat. I have a series of three dampers on that which I can use to control both the heat and the flow of smoke through here to get the flavor that I want and the heat that I want. All right, and you were telling me a little bit this morning about, you know, you use charcoal just to get it going, but it's all about the wood, and you use kind of a combination of woods here. Kind of describe what are these three different piles here? Uh, the pile here to my right is red oak, the one in the middle is a mesquite, and the other pile here is pecan. All right, so this pecan here, why, why do you choose um, this? You were telling me the mix is very delicate. That's correct. That's correct. Well, the red oak is basically to control the heat. The pecan gives the meat a kind of a sweet flavor. The mesquite, as a lot of people know, a lot of restaurants use mesquite to cook steaks with because it has its own distinct flavor. And the combination of using the three, at least for me, is just, it's fantastic. All right, and along with the cook-off, there's also going to be a kid's hamburger cook-off Saturday. It starts at 9 right here at the Elks Lodge, and it's not too late to sign up. The meat and the fire are provided. You just got to bring the spices, the tools, and an adult. Go to JeffersonCoGoTexan.com for more details and stick around in uh, just a couple of minutes. We'll be back. We're actually going to talk about what's going on that pit uh, tomorrow. Reporting live in Beaumont, Leah Durain, 12 News HD, Greg and Tracy. Barbecue lovers, get ready to grub. A cook-off is kicking off this weekend and proceeds will fund local scholarships. And 12 News reporter Leah Durain is live where all the food is going to be served up to share how pit masters are preparing for the competition. Leah? Good morning, Greg and Tracy. Happy Friday. We are talking barbecue this morning. I'm at the Elks Lodge in Beaumont off of Highway 90 and the Jefferson County Go Texan Barbecue Cook-Off looks here this weekend. Pitmaster's getting set up and I'm with one of them this morning, Paul Goodwin. We're talking barbecue. Now, this is your first cook-off ever. Um, how, tell me a little bit about your team and how, how you got involved. Well, my, my team is actually made up of my wife, myself, and my grandson, Chandler Spivey, who lives in Newton. And we got into the catering and cooking business just through basically home canning and selling at markets that wound up needing some food vendors. I brought a backyard pit and a, a fish cooker, and from that, it grew into what I have now. Nice, and it's Pappy Paul's Fixin's. Yes, ma'am. All right, now let's talk um, the different meats here. There's different categories in the competition. Kind of walk me through that. Okay, first of all, we have brisket ribs, chicken, and then there's also an open category, which basically that's anything on the pit, which I'm going to do a variety of pork loin and a jackpot bean competition, of which I'll be competing in, in all of those. Very nice. And I noticed in the rules, no pre-cooking, no pre-seasoning. So how do you get so much flavor into the meat, you know, in just within the competition time? The thing about it is, if you use too much seasoning, you're going to disguise the flavor of the meat, which you really don't want to do. And I just prepare mine just a few hours ahead of time, and I use it sparsely, and there's a little taste testing that goes along while it's cooking to make sure it's right. All right, well, best of luck to you. And um, for all of you hungry Southeast Texans, come out to Elks Lodge tonight. They're actually having a fish fry dinner. It's at 6.30 here at the Elks Lodge. There's going to be uh, music, an auction, and then the cook-off competition. Judging starts tomorrow on Saturday from 10 to 2. Awards are at 3. For all the details, go to JeffersonCoGoTexan.com. Again, all the money that's being raised from this cook-off is actually going to scholarships for Texas students. So that is the best part of the whole deal. Along with getting that good barbecue, you're also helping out those scholarship funds. Reporting live in Beaumont, Leah Durain, 12 News HD. Greg and Tracy.